Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Predicting the Future. Today, we're going to continue from the last video where we talk about uh, the first algorithm about Markov chain Monte Carlo, which is Metropolis Hastings algorithm. Today, we're going to talk about one of its variants called Gibbs Sampler. Uh, comparing to the uh, Metropolis Hastings algorithm, Gibbs Sampler has a big advantage when we need to gen uh, generate samples from higher dimensional uh, random variables so and also uh, much much simpler than uh, um, metro metropolis hasting algorithm so the Gibbs sampler makes uh, uh, the idea of the Gibbs sampler is, is to pick so in, in, in uh, an n dimensional uh, random vector each time we're gonna pick one of the uh, components of that in that vector and, and propose a new sample specific for that component, uh, keeping other uh, components fixed. So we are we are generating we are we are proposing a a, a new um, proposal using conditional uh, probability, where we f we keep all the other components fixed and then generate that using that conditional probability uh, uh, com that conditional uh, density function. So. Uh, for those who remember uh, the the proposal probability Q we talked about in the last uh, metropolis hasting algorithm, uh, we talk about the the, the re rejection acceptance probability alpha, and in here <coughs> in Gibbs sampler, the proposal the proposal uh, well we we first talk about uh, the proposal transition probability Q. In in the um, in uh, the Metropolis uh, Hastings algorithm, and in Gibbs sampler, this proposal transition uh, probability is actually two steps. First, uh, we pick one of the uh, samples, uh, one of the components in that n dimension, which is one over n, and then we pick we we're gonna generate a sample for that specific uh, component, S A Y I. A new sample, so that's a two-step uh, probability independent steps. We're gonna times these two probability. That's that's our proposed. That's the proposed uh, uh, probability uh, Q for Gibbs sampler. And if we if we insert that Q function into our alpha, which we'll see that uh, if so this is the alpha term. This is the alpha term is a is a minimum of uh, this this condition, and one which one which which comes smaller. But if we put the Q inside here, the terms under the uh, denominators was was cancelled because integrating a rule of uh, the f function with respect to the x i term uh, is always the same whether we call it x i or or y i it's the same when i when i is fixed, so it's the same uh, marginal density function uh, while keeping y i fixed. Well, keep, keeping all other terms fixed except uh, and integrating over uh, the i term. So, so this is cancelled. So in that case, uh, the upper one and and, and lower one q their denominators are cancelled, and what we left here is just just f y and uh, f y and and f x. So those terms will just be cancelled, and that will be just one. So so the rejection and acceptance uh, probability is, is always one, which means that we always always accepting uh, the new uh, new proposal. So that's the idea, and and the algorithm is simple. We first uh, pick a uh, initial sample x1 and a sample uh, from our distribution and and then we're gonna go through n steps uh, for the for the same Markov process we want, want n to be large and then we're gonna uh, go through each component we can pick the components randomly uniformly randomly in in that n uh, numbers or we can just loop over that there's no not much difference here so here the simplest way we just loop over all the uh, n components. We draw the conditional. We draw the sample for for the i's component, what called y i from from the conditional PDF, 
of f. Well, I haven't mentioned that in, in the Gibbs sampler, the basic idea is we can easily uh, draw samples from samples from conditional probabilities. If that was the case, then Gibbs sampler is a great uh, way of generating samples. So that's, uh, and then we go through every i component, and then uh, that new sample y, which is y1 to yn, will be our uh, next sample in this Markov process. And we go through n steps, we go through n samples and pick the last one sample to be our uh, sample for the underlying distribution we want to generate. So that's basically the idea. Uh, hopefully, uh, my explanation is clear. If there's anything that is not clear or something you want me to improve, please comment in the video. I will try to address that in the next video. Thank you.